As if it's coming in past 27.12. Alright, we'll just wait for that. <laughs> so potentially if you could cover it with your passive, it'd be really good. Because you could hide what rune you got. But, um, yeah. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So, it's not really viable, I think. But it's still fun. Like, you can run it. It's fun, for sure. I have, like, an Omni Stone Redemption in the points. And when people point it, I do it. Because it's not like, even though it ruins those two aspects, it's not like game over. It's still a fine rune on here. Seconds until minions spawn. Thresh Senna is kind of a yucky lane. They have sustain, they have poke, they have all in. We actually win all if we find an all in on Senna, we win hard. But if I don't find an all in like early enough and we get poked out, the lane becomes really stressful. But if I land like an all-in on Senna, my burst with Electrocute, Ignite, and stuff is really high. Like, we just win hard. But again, if we don't find the all-in, they'll sustain the poke and they'll poke us out. So that's kind of why I said second win is usually good into Senna too, to help with the sustain. To not get poked out. That cast must be a hard smurf. He must be. Electro is for only Chad Cassidens. He's versus TF. I would assume TF's a pretty easy lane for Cassidens. Uh, Thresh has Flay, so I don't have to worry about getting hooked level 1. I auto attacked her and you choose stealth, cancels her auto. So I autoed her and then stealth to cancel her auto on me to get a free trade. So the reason I take W level 1 is that, you see how right before I hit 2, I stealth at them. So when I hit 2, I can throw a root. If I hit it, it's good. If I don't, I don't, right? I didn't hit it, but Kat, he just used his last shot and he just re reloaded. So it probably wasn't a kill. Usually you want him to have 2 shots or 1 shot if you're going for like a big trade. And he had all 4 shots, so probably wouldn't have been a good time. And I just start autoing the cannon on this wave because it gives us prio if I can kill it early. <laughs> I just juked them both. Nico is on her fourth sale. Well, I misplayed that really bad. Our jungler's bot side, though. This is looking free for us, actually. Oh my god, you hate to see it. Oh my god, you hate to see it. Oh my god, you hate to see it, man. Well, this game is not looking like it's going very well. Old man Sanks mechanics aren't up to par. <laughs> That's that just so busted, it really is. Old man Sink, his fingers ain't working like they used to. <laughs> Their bot played it really well, actually. They did. I probably could have somehow played that better to get the kill. When someone gets away that low, it usually means there's something I did that wasn't properly efficient. That ended up in us not getting the kill. I actually ignited the Senna a little bit late, right after she healed. So actually, if I ignited her just a bit quicker, that also would have just been a guaranteed kill. There's one thing I did that was inefficient. 
I probably also might have autoed Thresh once or twice. Which also would have made the difference, but... Oh well. Stuff happens, man. I'm worried about this 0-2 Yone top. I don't see this matchup getting any better for him over time. I'm gonna follow best ten. I want to look for an all in, but it's like I said, this elo it's different than lower elos where I can't just go because when I misplay or miss, that thresh walks up and all ins on us. Where in like a lower elo, if I miss, I can just back up and then they don't. Although we had a really big minion wave, so I might have been able to, and we probably win the two v two in the minion wave. Uh, type current so explanation point current song for the song before it ends too. No space, no space, no space. Quick, quick, you're on a timer. <laughs> I'm giving them anxiety. Quick, quick. <laughs> Boom, do it, do it. <laughs> They're like, oh my god, I'm freaking out. <laughs> I was doing both anyways, to be sure. <laughs> what to do now? Find his breath? Ooh, have finished. I should have ate that W from Senna from ADC. The stop distracting now? No, it's not a distraction. I always read Twitch chat. I guess it is a distraction, but I'm almost challenger and I usually read every message in chat. I try to, so take that in. Play Nico support. That was a little bit stressful. You will learn what beauty truly is. Oh no. You hate to see it, man. You really do. Did you miss it? Old Man Sanks got it down, right? Over. Back to work. Nico does not want to be here when... Saint Ben, you're ruining my... I always see you as Old Man Saint, the nicest guy. Why are you flaming? Come on, my dude. It's because he's getting old. He's getting grumpy in old age, that's why. He's still perfect in my eyes. <laughs> He's still perfect in my eyes, man. He's gonna flame anyone. He should flame top, man. Jesus. Honestly, at this point, we may as well just look for an all-in. We need a snowball. If I miss my root, I miss it, but I'm looking for a root on her if I can. Right now. If I miss, I miss. Okay, I could have got punished for that, but I didn't. Damn, the flay. Nico is on 
It's okay. We, we win these, I think. See? Don't tunnel the support. I hit the double root on the center and Thresh, too. Okay. Shut down. Only 150 gold. He's trying to kill you. Back up, please. Don't die. Nico might have a thing for birds. And birds be bold. So easy to drink. Okay, that's a big shutdown for TF. 400 gold. I just have to focus my ulti on Yi in team fights, and it's winnable. It's winnable. Old Man Saint's gonna get mad that I don't FF this, but I think it's winnable still. Well, Thresh should have gone for me there. He's still paranoid from last time when we turned it on him when he went on me, but I had my root down. He probably wins if he hits his thingy on me there. Oh man. I did not even notice Yone was TPing bot or anything. Is Cassidy an OP? I don't think so. He's OP in lower elos. In high elo, he has counterplay. He has to get to really late game to win. I should have warded here before I bead. For my ADC safety. Is Yone fast? He's faster. I don't know if he's saying bots hold the wave was really worth it. Mm, it's probably worth it. Okay, I don't think I have to play. I was playing over aggressive last a while because our whole team was losing, but the game's closer now. I think I can play more calculated rather than just go for anything. Like, I was literally just running it down at them, hoping my stuff would connect. And to be honest, it wasn't, so... Good thing we were, we were still winning those. So I'm saying the 10 damage buff on the Q doesn't really matter that much. Like, how many Qs do you see in any lane? Not very many. I should have flash rooted in. Even your steam won't last a day. I should have played a bit more aggressive. I think. Dude takes my zombie ward, doesn't give me the cannon minion. I'm sad. I'm 
I'm a sad tomato. I think the Q buff was for wave clear mid. Yeah, it's for wave clear mid, and it also helps with like constant trading, which happens more in a 1v1. But when you're getting 2v1 and you're getting zoned by like a thresh hook and like the ADC's autos, it's very different than in the mid lane where it's a 1v1. Wait, viewer games? Uh, I didn't do viewer games because of- I didn't stream for the first part because of the LCS, so I decided not to. Probably won't be doing them next week either because of the LCS and me not streaming for the full time. But then after that, the playoffs are done and then I'll be went back to normal. Oh, this is a bad ulti by me. Oh, I hit it still. He mistimed. Camille just inted. I should not have ultied until Camille ults, but Camille mistimed her ult, so that's Pog. But that should have been for sure us losing because I ultied bad. Thank you for the follow, Seeker. Survival means blending in. I knew you were here, buddy. Right? I was trying to bait it, but that didn't work. Well, I mean, it was kill for kill. I knew he was there. It just didn't work out how I wanted it to work. It didn't work out how I thought it would work out in my head, is all. That's the teams with carry ADCs putting their players on Ash slash Senna duty. I mean, it's just meta, right? You do whatever the meta wants. Right? If the meta carry was for a carry ADCs bot, then they would do that, right? When there's support of mid laners, the mid laners go support. It's just whatever. So my thoughts are they're just doing whatever the meta is. Man. Saint, why are you so tilted, my friend? Thank you for the follow, I'm Zebra. I should have sent my W into that bush. Why'd he put his board there instead of in the bush? Probably just a mistake. See, Nico, all you do is you wait till Master Yi Q's on someone and ulti, and it just kills him. Like, what can he do? Like, he wait, he, I saw Yi Q on someone, it's like, okay, ulti. He has no way to dodge my ult, he gets stunned and you kill him. Nico actually hard counters. Hard counters uh, Master Yi. I usually win versus, like, the funnels, the Yi Tarek funnels, 
Because all you do is just wait. As soon as he Q's on on your team, you just ulti. What's he gonna do? Out of the ulti, you root him. You can't Q because of the root CC chain. I usually, instead of getting this, like to just get the stopwatch. Because the extra AP usually doesn't matter that much. But being able to not die and make sure my ulti lands is very valuable. In my humble opinion. Again, Master Yi Q's on him, and what do I do? The second I see Master Yi Q, I ulti. As soon as you see Master Yi Q, you just ulti, and it's just like he's dead. You just hold alt for that, and it's nothing he can do. It's the same thing where I said I mis made a mistake by ulting before Camille ulted, right? It's the same thing. You gotta wait till Camille ults. You gotta wait till Master Yi Q's. And then you just ulti, and then they're just screwed. Because those type of champs are super squishy. The reason they're hard to carry is because they're super mobile and hard to catch out. But if you get them in the CC chain, they just die. As long as Cassidy didn't get killed, I knew it was winnable. Like when Master Yi was fed, I was like, it's fine. I counter Yi, it's fine. If Cassidy gets killed, that's when I'm gets kills, That's when I'm scared. But Kasten doesn't have kills. He's still quite a ways off of... Well, he's not that far. He's two levels off. But we should be able to end this game in that time. Unless I face check here and get Colt. And I did face check and get Colt. Dude, old man insane is freaking insane. Old man insane is insane. This guy's got some mechanics for an old man. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, you don't, you don't end there. Casting's a one v nine champ. Whatever, we got Ocean Soul coming in a minute. Damn, I thought we were going to win there. I was hyped. I don't put a ward here because they're going to walk in and sweep it. It's just a waste of a ward. Anything you put a ward there. Nico Strong, getting saved on world. See. Everyone fears Nico now. <laughs> oh, I should have ignited her. Oh, I used my ult at the wrong time. Okay, it doesn't matter. I didn't use my ulti to counter Yi. I used it to counter the Camille ult, but then I realized that probably not a good idea because of Yi, but this Yi's not very good.
Alright, positive. We went positive two here today. If we lost this, it would have been even, so positive two is nice. Oh, I played well that game, I think. Old Man Saint was losing his mind. <laughs>